or opinions of the staff, management, and advertisers of WBOK. Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Motivation Monday and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. Absolutely. We do that right here weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure yes. you tune in. And yes. if you do ever miss a show, but why would you ever do that? Yeah. You can go on TGLRadioShow.com, TGLRadioShow.com for all of our past shows. Um, right there, you can just click the button and you can find us. There's information, there's shirts, there's all kinds of stuff there. We want you to yes. get involved in the movement because we are growing and we are on all of our social media platforms. I yes. think I did a pretty good job of branding. I, I, at least I, I try to. So yes. if y'all want to call me and help me yes. out, just let me know. <laughs> it is tglradioshow.com, at tglradioshow, um, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere you go, it's TGL Radio Show. Yeah, literally. Every tube, every page, whatever. Every page, out there, just... every page. And if you want to email me, if you have a show idea, if you're interested in advertising with us, you can um, you can purchase you can go purchase it online at tglradioshow.com. <laughs> it's one stop shopping, literally. And if you had a question or you want to create your own package, you can email me if you have some questions. That is Eileen E I L E E N at tglradioshow.com. Why? Because it's the good life. You want to join the movement. <laughs> because we aren't just, I, w I want to really let our listeners know that we have really been growing. I'm really excited about yes, our growth. Yes. We have people who listen from all over the country, I Henry, know, and actually amazing. the world with our podcast now growing. People listen from all over the world. So uh, we're, 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 I know. I have people email me about the show from really? Georgia, California, Tennessee. <laughs> I respond to all of them. And they, they, they send this personal email. So. See y'all? Hey, we're global. We're we are global. I told you we're about to be galactic. They're going to know see, our see. voices. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to know our voices everywhere. Yes, Henry is yes. trying to hide out of the screen. I don't know, know just, why. Just got in we need this. him to embrace it, embrace you know, himself. Because isn't that what the life is about? I'll, psh, psh. Yeah, but you know, so look at her. Are y'all serious? Y'all are she look so... Like? See that? Y'all. Well, if you could be watching us on Facebook or Instagram right yeah. now, we are live, and you can always watch Absolutely all of our live. videos on YouTube. If you miss us, we are there. But this week, y'all know, I uh, I create a theme for each and every week. And last week was Ask, and Henry dropped some information last week, some knowledge that was amazing. So if you didn't uh, miss that show, you know where you can find it, tglradioshow.com under Watch Now, and you can just scroll down. We keep the last week, we keep each mm -hmm. week of the past week up until, you know, the next week. So you Watch can always go get it there. It. Share it. Yes, sh there, yes. Sharing send is the most utilized button in the world. Well. You can copy it. Share. Send it. Yes. Share. So last week was Ask. This week, can y'all guess what it is? If y'all were paying attention last week, then you should know what this week is. But if you don't, this week is Believe, because we are going through the entire process of ask, believe, receive. So that is what this group of three is, and I think it's 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 just a perfect time. Uh, I, I asked for a special gift about 14 years ago, and God blessed me with it for each of you. Um, out there who've paid attention to the Good Life Radio Show, you know about my story. Um, I had an ectopic pregnancy in 2003, thought I would never be able to have children, and God blessed, oh, 2002, I should say, in 2002, and God blessed me with um, a son in 2003, almost literally to the day, uh, like one year four. later, I gave birth to him. He's like 6'4", so by he, the way. He is 6'4", like... <laughs> go figure, and I have to feed him, so be careful what you ask for, right? Seven times a day. So, you know, it's just amazing, and if you believe it in your heart, and, yes. and it's with the intentions that you put behind it. So I want yeah. to give you the definition of believe, and I want Henry to really touch on this. Um, <clears throat> to have a firm or wholehearted conviction or persuasion to regard the existence of God as a fact. 
They say, do you believe, usually, you know, um, use and believe with the, the scriptures or to accept something as true, genuine or real, ideals we believe in, um, to have a firm conviction as to the goodness or ability of something, to hold an opinion, to believe, to think, uh, can be used as a verb, uh, to consider to be true or honest, to believe in the reports, to accept the word or the evidence of, I believe you, or to hold as an opinion, to suppose, yes. I believe, I believe, I believe. Henry, <laughs> I believe. I believe, too. That was... You that like kind of stirred me, yeah. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. Well, that was the whole point. I like to stir your spirit because then, yeah. you know, your spirit just, like, pours onto us. And it's a part of the process. Yeah. And here's, if we miss a part of this process, it becomes very difficult. Uh, but before we, we really jump into this, I want to let y'all know that, speaking of believing it's Monday, it's Motivation Monday, and yes. I like to make sure that we motivate you for the entire week. So we also have Fidelity Bank here that has a yes. powerful, 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 uh, powerful, y'all will understand why I say that, a pow powerful segment coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And we also have Edward Jones. So it's going to be a little bit of a financial day today to make sure that, you know, we talk about generational wealth, so I want to make sure I'm giving you some tools to make sure that we meet those needs because you got to believe and then act on them so you you ask for the the financial information you got to believe you're going to get it i'm delivering mm -hmm. it to you and now you're going to receive it she is um, a deliverer now i she am a deliverer through, I promise you. yes <laughs> <laughs> so henry i'm sorry to break it up but That's believe okay. you know people having a firm or wholehearted conviction or persuasion accepting something as true consider to be true or honest hold as an opinion um to be astounded by and it's funny that you say that because i was about to throw it to you but i'm gonna yeah. give you something to, to go off okay because i know you can the belief in God, uh -huh. like, you know, some people are like, mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe they hadn't had an, an experience or they believe, but it's a little bit hard to believe because maybe they haven't, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. uh, God is, but mm -hmm. he isn't, you can't mm -hmm. physically touch him, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's different for people, people uh, accept things differently, Yes, but like, I have had personal experiences so I know like I know like I know you can't tell me any different and you know I tell my friends and family things like that but h how do people believe well I mean that's uh, that that's hard question no it's not really a hard question okay. because it's it's, it's, it's what it. most people deal with it's that how do I believe something that's not tangible and most people misconstrue belief because they assume that if I'm believing something then I have to see proof, facts, evidence, data, statistics that would support me having a legitimate belief in or for something. Mm. When the truth of the matter is belief, particularly faith or belief in God, it is not absence of uh, a real life dilemma. It's not delusional, but my belief defies what presently exists. I don't have to say... Um, um, oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sick. You know, people think when you say you believe in God or have faith, you know, you sneezing all in the studio. I'm not sick, devil. You're like, no, you kind of are sick. Right. You are sneezing. <laughs> you're sick. But you're, by your faith, you're going to defy what is actually transpiring and taking place. Because how do you know that you have a belief system if it doesn't experience any resistance? <gasps> I like that, Henry. Yeah. How do you know that you have a belief system? T-shirts available next week. <laughs> How do you know that you have a belief system if it's not yeah. defied by something? Yeah. And it, it, it doesn't have to be tangible. For instance, people say, well, how can I believe in God? I don't say, well, you kind of believe in cell phone signals, but you can't see them. You can't touch them. Right. I believe you know that when I hit the switch, yeah. the, the lights are going to turn on and I don't happen. see electricity. Absolutely. Um, and so your belief like is a, is real inner conviction. It's a uh, a total consumption of your mind, your spirit, your heart that believes that something is going to not just happen, but you believe it's already happening. You're waiting for the manifestation to appear. So I want you to believe today for something so extraordinary that you know only God could deliver it. I'm gonna be on the Ellen show. See what I'm saying? And I'm going to be her personal We're going to be New Orleans natives. Because she's not be leaving dancing. me now. When she take off, I'm going on the plane. So, trust me. Let's see. I'm what going. dance am I going to do when I get there? <laughs> I'm believing her. Hello. Yeah. Like, what dance are we going to do? You got to forecast it. You got to see it. You have to read. Here's what I always tell people. You can believe I will not be targeting that. Yeah, you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> that will not be the dance. I can, people, you know, I can't <laughs> believe I'm on the show with Eileen. Well, 
You know, you, you see yourself. When people see you, it's their first time seeing you in a place. I'm going to do the Reebok. When you see it, it's the second, third, fourth time you've seen yourself. Yes. Because you have to see yourself before you actually see yourself in that place. I believe. Yes. I do believe. I believe. Nothing can sway me or discourage me from what I believe. Distance yourself from people who are trying to convince you that logic should trump your belief system. Ooh. Repeat that one more time. Disconnect yourself from people who try to convince you that your logic should trump your belief system. Because belief is beyond logic. Absolutely. If your logic limits you to what you have experienced, where you have been, where you have gone in your previous interactions, my belief catapults my internal imagery of myself into a place I've not been, but I know I belong there. I know I'm supposed to occupy that place. I might be making minimum wage or not, but something in me is so uneasy and unsettled because I keep seeing visions of myself being the check right or hiring people or governing um, something in life. So your belief system puts you beyond any place your logic can limit you to be in. And it's crazy the things that we believe in, but we don't question, but Absolutely. there are other things that we... You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's crazy how we pick and choose what we want to believe in. Yeah. But we'll have belief in, in smaller things or oh, yeah. have or not large things. Or sometimes it's the opposite, where you can have belief systems e are easier for you with larger things, yeah. but for smaller things, they're more difficult. Well, people believe with backup systems in place. Ooh. I'll... You know, I won't believe going for a million. I'll believe him for like 2000 because if he doesn't come through, then I know I can go pull it from one of my CDs at Fidelity Home Street, you know, something like that. Right. And, uh, or I yeah, can I do that. Yeah, I have my money at Fidelity. Yeah, I'm and my financial, financial advising said, from Edward Jones. Yeah, from Edward Jones. So, you know, I know I could go to them. <laughs> right. And because we have personal relationship with them, hey, listen, I need. And, and so you got to move beyond limiting your belief to only feeling more comfortable believing when you have a backup system in place. In case God don't come through, I can still make it happen. Now, believe for something so huge that no human effort, no human hand can be attributed with the success. If of you it. have a backup system, then you are the, then you still have a control system. Absolutely. Because you're still worried about the how. Yeah. We're not supposed to worry about the how if yeah. we believe. Yeah, I believe. I mean, think about it like this. I was th I was in. Um, where did I just come from? Somewhere. All over the world. Somewhere. He's Chicago. All over the world. Chicago. And it Chicago. finally and it finally dawned on me. I get on planes every other week or so. And I'm, I'm getting on <laughs> I'm wrinkled. He gets on and, planes uh, every other yeah, day. But, but yeah. But Three but days. what I realize is I'm getting on a uh a, a, a plane that's taking me thirty thousand feet in the air. I don't know the pilot's name. I haven't met him. I really haven't checked his credentials or his background. I know nothing about him. I just get on there believing he is qualified like he is presented to be and he's going to get me to the destination that I'm going to get to. And sometimes if you're going to get to where you are going, then you have to let go of your inhibitions. You have to let go of your need to know addiction that you have. And you have to just trust that this process is going to bring me to the destination I ultimately want to be in. I find that that how mm -hmm. is such an issue mm -hmm. because... I don't know about y'all, but I like to know. I like to know. I'm a researcher. I'm like, if yeah. I can't figure, if I don't know, I'm going to go figure it out. I'm going to go find yeah. a book or find somebody that knows, yeah. like they know, like they know. Yeah. And so it has been a, a personal struggle for me, and I'm better than I have been in the past, but I know that yeah. it's, a, it's a constant journey that I'm on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to release that how, mm -hmm. and, and I even put it on social media last week to remind myself that you don't have to know how. You just have to ask mm -hmm. what we did last week yeah. and then believe it to be so. But Absolutely. it has to be with, you know, with good intent, love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding. You can't wish evil on somebody. I mean... That's going to come back and bite you in the... Mm -hmm. It absolutely Where the will. sun doesn't shine. Believe, believe. Whoever you are listening to us today, just believe. Just practice. Put your brain in a space where it, you put a demand on it to exercise some belief bigger than you have ever in your life. Believe. 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 Yes. Believe. Yeah. It's that simple. It's that simple. So, Henry, if they want to believe what you're saying... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Follow you on social media. He drops these nuggets all just the time. Just anywhere. Just and type in Henry Bolden anywhere. I'll come up. Facebook, 
whatever book's out there, I'm on it. Uh, and you can email me at hbolden3 at yahoo.com. And he is here every Monday on the Good Life every Radio single, Show. He's I believe I'm going to keep coming. She's going to keep having me. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't have to know the how. Right. You don't have to know the I'm how. I'm going to show up and you knock on the door. You just have to believe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good life, y'all. It is Motivation Monday. All you have to do is believe. That's we it. got the first step last week that is asked. This week is believe. And so I'm going to believe that we are all going to take our money to the next level. And yes. so we are going to have Miss Lori Jackson yes. in the studio with us next. She's of here in person. Edward really, she Jones is. Investments. Yes, because we need to know what we, you know, you're asking for this money. Now yeah. you need to believe that you are going to grow it and we need to understand how we're going to take it to these next levels. So stay tuned. We will be right back. Back. Edward Jones is in the building. And Fidelity. And Fidelity, yes. yes. I like that. Maybe that should be a week. We should have, that should be a theme one week, Fidelity. And then we'll have the bank back and we can talk about Fidelity too. A whole nother conversation. I'll know. get an autograph from Lori just so y'all know she was really here. And mention my name when you go into any branch. She'll hook you up. Oh no, Lori. No, that would be Tammy. Yeah, Tammy. See. Tammy Look, Ocean. Money women. But, but real talk, y'all. Women are taking over. We are. And there's power in it. Yeah. Y'all know, what I'm, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about when you stay tuned for the whole show. Open your mind to living differently <laughs> differently in the world. Different. It is uh, Motivation Monday, and we'll be yes. right back. Good morning, y'all. How are you? Who are you reading it? It's under the headphone thing. Oh, that's Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. How are you? I can't see the rest. Oh, I didn't share all of my stuff. Roll with me. Roll with me. We are getting ready for our second segment. We are going to have Miss Lori Jackson of Edward Jones Investments in the studio with us. Edward Jones, lady. Yes. She's here. She's here. In the building. She's wow. real. She's going to get our mind and our money right. Yes. She looked like a money get a writer. <laughs> <laughs> we had to sit her in the hot seat. Yeah. Trying to get a little room. I usually have us back and forth, but I like both of us being in the same mm-hmm. camera. Mm-hmm. So yes. we're going to make you. Oh, See, she's not wrinkled, so it's going to work out. You are her. so silly. <laughs> He's so worried about being wrinkled. Your mom ironed you when you were little. Your parents used to make sure you left the house. Yeah. <laughs> I got over that one. Oh, you used to make me wear it. Oh, my gosh. Y'all remember stockings? Oh, yeah. Doesn't that sound old? Did you have a white one, It sounds... Uh, yes, and different <laughs> colors, you know. I'm like, actually, I have a picture with white stockings from my freshman year in high school. That was God, 1993. Like 92 at that point. 92, 93 year. I was like, I'm too old to be still wearing stockings. <laughs> How do you mean? That was like one of our biggest things. I'm like, uh, ladies oh, wear yeah, stockings. Ladies, yeah, you got to. You got to. That was well, obviously, thing. I was a renegade because yeah. I didn't want to wear stockings. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And we're going to renegade our money right now. So I'm really excited. Welcome to The Good Life. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am too blessed. I am too blessed. And we are going to continue to bless our listeners and educate them on the process of investing so we can all live a good life. So yeah, we have Miss Lori Jackson in studio with us. Let's see when Lee's gonna give us the... I think we might have another minute and a half, Lori. Hi, this is Bishop Henry. No, I was just seeing how much time we have left. have this opportunity to personally extend to you, your family, and your friends. Two minutes, alrighty. Worship, that's right. Are you excited? Yeah, this is your first time on air? First time. Really? Yes. Oh, yes. girl, it's just like a conversation. Like we were in the coffee shop, and I was like, oh, cool. Well, how does this work? Mm-hmm. What do we do? And you, title, financial advisor? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We have 15 now. No ones that like to touch this stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. Huh? Girl, it's going to be a conversation. It will go faster than you think. I promise. Some people are like, that was fast. I was like, I know. It does. It goes a lot faster than you think. But it's fun conversation. It's just like, you know, just you're teaching basically and it's it's you do this every day yes. so it's you know 
just a delivering what you do. Preparatory that's charter it. School. With an education, you have everything that's needed that's for a that's solid it. foundation. After surveying, well, for all of you who may most, have just been, let me see. Actually, I didn't share it on all of my other pages. Sorry, y'all. Individual growth, all people on my first cultural page. and art appreciation. Aren't watching it. Foundation okay. preparatory overachieves in all of these areas. Registration for the 2018-2019 school year is now in progress. Spots for kindergarten and first grade available. All so we are literally not everywhere you want to be. Secure your spot today. Our doors are open to everyone, even if hablas espanol. Connect with us on Instagram. But please share if you know someone who needs some investing information. You know, please share the video. Let them know that Lori is about to be on. Edward Jones is in the building. Thank you to the parents for making our school a success. Foundationpreparatory.org. Our doors are open to everyone. I kind of feel your nervous energy. I can feel energy. I do, and I feel you like. <laughs> we gonna be all right. Welcome back to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Motivation Monday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 AM. Make sure you tune in. For Motivation Monday, Relationship Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Gumbo Talk Thursday, and Freedom Friday. That's where we open our mind, we drop our bags, we drop our shame, we drop our fear, and we skip into our future, our passion, and our purpose. But y'all know on Mondays, I like to give you uh, something to inspire you for the week. And we know that money is not the end-all, be-all, but it is definitely a tool that we need to understand how to manage. And so while I'm learning, I like to, you know, to involve you in, in the process processes as well. And sometimes this topic is uh, something that just kind of skirts our, skirts our, I don't know, our, our reach, I guess, uh, investing on, on different levels and, you know, reaching out to a financial advisor to take us to the next level. But sometimes we need to go through those uncomfortable uh, conversations or just those uncomfortable things and realize, you know what? They're not so scary. So what I did was we invited um, uh, Lori Jackson, who is a financial advisor of Edward Jones. I'm sitting next to her. It's Halloween. She's kind of scary. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> She's not scary at all. And I invited her in here because I was like, you know, we could just, yeah, let's just do this on the air. Because so many times people, you know, are hesitant yes. to go in and have a conversation with a financial advisor. But I want to ring you on the radio, especially during the Halloween season, and let everybody know that you're not scary at all. Not scary at all. <laughs> Not at right, but you. I'm sure that you get that. Yes, I do. I definitely do. Um, and one of the big things everybody thinks when they hear financial advisor mm -hmm. that it's about investing. Mm -hmm. So they get afraid and they're like, oh, well, I don't have anything to invest, so I can't talk to you. But it's so much bigger than that. It truly is. Well, tell. Well, look. Now that you opened it, well, what, how? What is it? So for me, being a financial advisor is about empowering everyone to reach whatever financial goal that they have. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how big or how small that goal is. It could be you wanting to save for a car or you wanting to save for retirement or save for a college education. Your financial goal is your own and I'm here to help you reach that financial goal. Lori, you just like took all of the anxiety <laughs> and the anguish off because I thought I needed to have a million dollars in a bank before I skipped in there at least maybe about 15 million. No, just joking. Uh, you know, before I skipped in there. So you're saying that we need to, the, the ideas that we have in our mind, we need to let that go. We need to let it go. We need to and let it go. And this is the perfect month to let it go because this is actually the month um for financial planning. So October has a lot of financial um, 
has a lot of financial moments in it, right? So the week of October 16th was actually Save for Retirement Week. So I was I going had no around. Idea. Exactly. <laughs> That's why so, I need you. <laughs> I was going around and explaining to people the importance of saving for retirement, no matter how much you save. It's about time in the market, not mm. about how much you put in. Because, I, you know, you, you led me to the question because I was going to, what happens if we don't invest? What happens if we don't save? What are, obviously we know, we know what, we kind of know what's going to happen. We're going to put ourselves in an uncomfortable position. And so to make sure that that doesn't happen, are there certain guidelines or, or structures that best suit me or do you sit down with me and create a personalized plan or is there just like nope this is a b and c you pick one and we put you on the road how does okay. that work so i like that question so thank you so for me saving is about a long-term strategy um and when it comes to investing you i mean everybody has a plan for something in their life right mm -hmm. so whether you're planning to go do your you plan to go grocery shopping right hey i know i'm gonna True. go grocery shopping this day and don't do I, hungry <laughs> <laughs> exactly and you pl you make a plan to do certain things in your life so it's the same thing with investing and planning for retirement or any financial goals that you want to reach you make a plan and then you stick to that plan so with us the plan is individualized is personalized to you so as a financial professional my job is to sit down with you and find out what's important to you mm -hmm. so it's not a one glove fits all approach because what may work for you might not work for me and vice versa mm -hmm. so my job is to sit down with you figure out what's important to you and we use those goals with our established process that we have here at Edward Jones and then we partner with you to help you stay on track to meet those goals Got you. So if I walk in today, and please treat me like I'm kindergarten, because <laughs> I am, and and I say, you know, uh, Lori, Miss Jackson. Oh, I like that. Sorry, Miss <laughs> Jackson. Of course. Okay, right. I knew it was right. coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> and I say, and especially since, you know, uh, the week before last was the retirement savings. I'm interested. I'm 38 years old and I'm, oh yeah, I'll be 39 Wednesday. Anyway. Um, and I'm interested. Thank you. And I'm interested in, you know, uh, uh, having a more structured financial um, retirement plan. Yes. What do I need to bring in when I come to you? And what, what would that conversation begin to look like? So my first appointment process, my first appointment process, period, it's kind of like an interview. So kind of like what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. It's you talking to me mm -hmm. and me talking to you. So you're finding out about my how my appointments work, how I will partner with you. You're finding out more about Edward Jones. And then I'm finding out about you. So I'm finding out about your family, about whatever, where you are in life right now, what goals you might have. Because all goals are somehow tied to finances, mm -hmm. right? right? But everybody wants to retire. But the question is, what does retirement look like for you? So is it On just... A yacht, girl. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, for some people, it can be just sitting at home home and relaxing finally right mm -hmm. and then for some people it's I want to travel the world so once I talk to you and I find out what retirement looks like for you mm -hmm. or what saving for that house looks like that you want to buy or saving for that car then we come up with a plan that will fit into whatever time frame you have left okay so what if you know there may be people who are listening because we have listeners of all ages okay. let's just say you may be in your 60s and you um, have not saved the way that you wanted to stay save, but you're you're towards the you, the end of like your working career, mm -hmm. and you're like, you know what? I didn't do everything that I was supposed to do. Yes. But I really want to start looking at this. Is it ever too late? So for me, it is. I like I love making the statement. It's never too little, and it's never too late. Mm. Um, and I say that because. Whether you're young like I am and you're just starting out and you want to start saving, you can do that. Or whether you're 60 years old, I can still sit down with you and we can figure out how to get you through retirement. Mm. So it is never too little and it's never too late. It's still all about you and all about making that plan 
to fit whatever time horizon you have left. So if you started something and you want a professional to sit down and look at you and tell you where you can go from here, mm -hmm. then I can do that. And sitting down with us, that's one other myth that comes about, is no cost. Oh, girl, good. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, what, are, what is it? What is it? What is it? So sitting down with you is no cost. It's no cost. Did y'all hear that out there? No cost. I need at all. you to understand because there's a lot of people who that's the first, you know, bridge that they don't want to cross because they feel like, you know, to go in there, it's just going to be overwhelming and, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave with nothing in my pocket or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you are, we'll sit down and be in the conversation at no cost. Yes. And I, I consider myself, um, so you know how if you go to a doctor, right? Mm hmm you don't if you're sick or like you were saying earlier if you're if you're sick right yeah, I'm sick. you don't go Aren't to you? the doctor and tell tell the doctor what's wrong with you right Ooh, you yes, go to Lori. the doctor and you tell him your symptoms mm -hmm. and then he tells you what he can do for you gotcha. so i'm like a financial doctor i'm the person you come mm. in and you tell everything to and then we come up with a plan Okay, so so once I we've had a conversation and I have an appointment, are there certain is there any paperwork that I'm supposed to you know start putting together or is there anything you know it may be you know pension information or banking yes. statements or yes. you know what should I start to gather if if I want to move in this direction? Yes, so you would gather any retirement statements that you might have from previous jobs or current jobs if you want an opinion on how you're balanced right now in your current retirement plan. You can bring bank bank statements if you're concerned about budgeting you can bring pension statements to see how that would fit into your full financial future moving forward mm -hmm. so any statements that relate to financial planning like if you have annuities or anything like that yes you can bring those statements in and we'll review them and do a full financial picture so what I like to tell people is if you're putting together, if you want me to help you put together your puzzle, we need to gather all the pieces. Mm. So that would include any loans, yes, car so payments, any debts, and things like any, that. Yes. So any debts that you have, my credit because, report. Yeah. So I mean, pretty gotcha. much, because I mean, that's all yeah. part of the financial future. You don't want to look to one side and just worry about saving if you have debt as well. So yes, I can't hide that and not tell you about it, right? <laughs> I'm so like, we have to look at both sides of it. And yes, throughout my process, mm -hmm. um, in my appointment, I'm asking those questions. Gotcha. Do you have this? Do you have that? And even if we don't gather all the documents on the first appointment, throughout that appointment, I'm gathering that information from you. And then I'm going to ask you to send those to me. So that way we can verify it. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we have a couple minutes left. And I really wanted to, um, you know, on your site, which I think is, is really, really cool, that y'all have these different calculators. Yes. Can you explain what they are and how, you know, we can start interacting with Edward Jones and kind of take advantage of some of the services that y'all offer online? Yes. So one of the calculators that we have is called a retirement savings calculator. So this calculator helps you, you pretty much, you put in your age, when you want to retire and then how much you would spend and it kind of gives you an idea of how much you would need to retire now sitting down with me i take that a little bit further because i'm giving you information that's few in the future so i and i sit down and i explain that to you versus you having to go into the calculator but the calculator is a good start um, so that way you can see and maybe figure out where you are right now. Um, and then the next calculator that we have is a savings calculator. And this calculator just explains to you how important it is to save over the long term. So we focus on helping people who are serious about long term strategies, long term investing. So this calculator shows you how what long term really means versus short term and it's funny i, I was reading one of the articles y'all they have so many articles on edwardsjones.com you should really go there um very educational and they were <clears throat> They were, they were talking about the importance of being disciplined in your investing. And I was like, mm, they might have been talking to me. So and maybe they're talking to you. But, you know, that when you are investing to to be consistent about it and you may see, you know, marketing markets go up and down or whatever. But to, if when you stay consistent, because the market usually does in long terms, because, you know, people get yes. nervous. Like, I don't yeah. want to put my money in there. They did this. They did that. Or, you know, I'm going to keep all my money under my under my in my mattress or wherever mm -hmm. under my bed. 
Yeah, and so for me, that goes back to being your financial doctor. Mm -hmm. If you go into the doctor and you are telling the doctor what's wrong with you, that is you putting your emotional emotions in it, right? You went to WebMD, you figured out the symptoms you have, and you're yes. telling him, this is what's wrong with me. Yes. I need you to take care of it now. Mm -hmm. Well, as your financial doctor, when the markets go up and down, it's going to happen. It happens historically. It has happened since the market has opened. But the market has always come back. So I'm there as your financial professional to block that emotion, to help you understand that this is going to happen and right. I'm going to hold your hand through it. And the way to try and negate some of that that might occur is by putting your money in quality investments, mm. in companies that are stable, in companies that provide long-term, mm -hmm. um, that have shown long-term stability. And you know who else shows and has proven long-term stability? That would be Edward Jones Investing. <laughs> yes, we have Real been talk. around since 1922. Yes. 1922, I think that's a pretty good bet when yes. you are looking for a financial advisor. So, Lori, can you please give people information on how they can contact you? So, you can call me at any time on my in, in my office. So, the phone number is 504-486-8645. And you can tell them that you want to set up an appointment to come in and do a free financial review. And again, that phone number is 504-486-8645. Y'all, call Lori today and say, I'm calling Miss Jackson. <laughs> I yes. am for real. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Well, I thank you help so it. much. Thank you so much for being here. It is a good life, y'all. We wanted to make sure that, you know, we talk about generational wealth, but we want to make sure that we give you the tools to take it to the next level. We are all in this together. And, you know, people get overwhelmed by money, but it's a tool and we really need to know and understand how to manipulate it so that it works for all our good. Yes. Oh, look how I threw in that little scripture. How you like that, B? Huh? We're going to take a quick break, and we are not done with our financial future because we have Fidelity Bank in the building with us today. Y'all thought y'all just know I have y'all from every angle today. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with Miss Tammy O'Shea with Fidelity. Thank you so much for being here. I absolutely appreciate it. It was easy, huh? See? First time, it's just about giving you know them some general information and then um, I want to make sure I give you a part. Yes. Thank you so much, so much. That was uh, great information. You did great. Yeah. Now you can go breathe. I could. I can tell she was a little nervous, but it's okay. I was like, hey, you don't say this every day. Right, I know, and I forget that I do do it every day. I do forget that I do do it every day. Hey, y'all. I hope y'all uh, got some great information from that about, you know, making sure to take those steps to reach out to a financial advisor. Uh, it, it's really important as much as I, uh, you know, had hesitated to do it. But, you know, it's one of those things that's like, all right. My dad had always been like, I mean, put it together, good, bad, or ugly. At least you're moving forward. I don't care what it is. You're moving forward. You know, and he had really uh, put that in my mind, you know, since young. And it's it, it has helped me to this day and, and continues to help me. Good, bad, or ugly, put it together. It can only get better. And you got to know what you're dealing with. So. And if you do it, the earlier you do it, the better it can look. <laughs> You're right. Right. The You're earlier right. you do it, the better it can look. And even if, just like she said, it's never too late. It's never too late. I'm like, yesterday is over. You can't do anything about right. it. So as long as you're moving forward, that's all that really matters. You know, and it's nobody's business but your own. And she said it. So now we're going to move on to the, the next segment. Power. Y'all kept wondering why I kept saying power all the time. You're going to find out in a second. We have Miss Tamley. Why do I don't want to say Lachey? I keep wanting to say it, but I'm not. And y'all are only going to catch it on the video. Y'all are not going to catch me on the air saying that out loud. You're trying to make me French instead of I, Irish. I, I'm Irish too, though. <laughs> you see those eyes. And you're like, where'd you, I'm like, where'd you get the eyes? I'm Irish. At least I think I am. <laughs> My parents in the ancestry I kind of want you to go check it out. <laughs> ah, well, I'm excited to have you here. I'm very excited to be here. Yes. Oh, okay, tell me this, because I don't want to say it on air and it not be true. 
Are y'all y'all are, from my understanding, the only bank that does allows children to have accounts. Not children, children, but teens. So we work with a program that with the FDIC. I don't know if we're the only bank, but we do our students that go through when I like the program. <laughs> they're able to open up an account. Yes, but it's part of a a program that we do in schools called gotcha. our youth savings program. Gotcha. Because I um, Pierre who helped us out, I um, was putting him in touch with my son's school because I was just like, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. So we work with a number principal. of different schools in yeah. the area. And it's if the children complete the program, then they can do it. Then they can do it. I'm so, all about it. So I was like, yeah. I want to get him to his school. Yeah. Get him saving early. Yeah. Because he has an account. I will not say the bank. <laughs> and, well, we actually tried two banks. And this was the second bank. Yeah. And it, he ended up just going at my dad's bank. Because they didn't have a teen program. But I was like, how do they learn about money if... Right, 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 right. And there's and then you want them to like leave on their own and like know what to do. I'm telling you, it's a big problem. And then be mad when they don't have any more. Right? And they don't I'm know like, how to manage. I can't be mad. I don't as long cause... as the debit card works, they think there's right. money there. <laughs> I'm like, did you check the balance? <laughs> so, but and then the thing is, because he and my dad did it, and my dad lives out of town. Uh huh. He can only deposit. He can't do a. So it's just. I'm like, oh, we need to figure a better way. <laughs> And they were like, Fidelity. I was like, I'm going to figure it out. Yes. Fidelity. Yes. Fidelity. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Motivation Monday, and we're here to open your mind. living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 AM. Make sure you tune in. You never have to miss a show. Why? Because we are everywhere you want to be. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TGL Radio Show. TGL Radio Show. But you can go to One Stop shopping kind of yeah they're shopping on there too you can go to one stop and get all of that at one place and that is online that is tglradioshow.com tglradioshow.com you can pull it up on your phone there's more people in the world with a smartphone than a toothbrush that is my fact that i like to remind people of it's a true story and so you can go right there and i know like on your phones you can keep all those pages open so you can really just keep me open and every time you need to you know check out what's going on you miss a show you can go right there and see what we're talking about so this this week we are talking about believing and uh, there is a program with one of my new favorite banks Fidelity for so many different reasons and we all get into the last reason last okay because okay? <laughs> she y'all have to watch during the break and see what we're talking about uh, we are in the studio with Miss Tammy O'Shea see Tammy good morning I how are you and we are here with her today and we are going to be talking about power now of course Fidelity is a full service bank we and are offers so many things so I just want to yes. speak to you generally about you know all of the things that the bank offers but we really want to kind of get into one powerful powerful program y'all did I say power you did. Yes. Do you know what power stands for? Tell me what power stands for. Power stands for the potential of women entrepreneurs realized. Yes. Do We're you all that? about women in business. Yes. And I don't know if people have, have noticed, but there is a uh, there is a rise in women, uh, in my opinion, just in so many different in industries. And do we have a way to go? Yes. But it's really... Uh, empowering for me to see that Fidelity Bank has seen, you know, the rise of our businesses and the importance of our voice as well, and to, you know, um, make sure that we have that partnership so that we can all grow. Well, you know, women in business are growing at such a rapid rate. In fact, it's five times the national average of business openings are started by women in business. Really? And that's according to um, a 2016 report that is commissioned by American Express called the State of Women in business. Mm. Um, right now there is over 11 million businesses in the nation that are classified as women-owned business and they employ about 900, 9 million people. Wow. 
um, and it contributes annually over eleven point six trillion in revenue. With a T. With a T. <laughs> With a so T. this this sure. isn't um, small, just small business. I right. mean, women are doing some very powerful things. Um, and New Orleans fares very well in the report. Um, you know, there's over forty thousand businesses in New Orleans classified as women owned. Um, and they actually, on the report, ranked 15th of the top 50 metropolitan cities. So women are doing some incredible things. Um, there's all kinds of segments. You know, it's not just nail salons and hair salons. Right. Um, some of them are very micro businesses operating out of their homes. Some are storefronts. But the sector that seems to have the most uh, women-owned businesses opening is in healthcare and social services. Wow. Which kind of makes sense. You know, women by nature mm -hmm. tend to be more of the caregivers. Um, and so it makes sense that they would kind of steer towards that sector. And we are powerful. Yes. Yeah, so what power is... <laughs> so what is power? Because we really... I, I'm just I'm I'm just overjoyed that all of this is possible and and having been a you know woman owned small business since 2010 it's just I mean since 2012 thank you uh, <laughs> I just want to be like seriously thank you so uh, can you explain the Fidelity Power program so what Power does is you know we saw a need obviously banks Fidelity's not the only bank we've been making loans and doing business for women in business for forever. Mm -hmm. um, but what we realized is that women kind of treat business differently. Mm -hmm. The problems are the same as their male counterparts, but they approach them differently. Mm -hmm. They tend to be more collaborative. Um, they tend to want to learn from others. Mm -hmm. um, they seek out mentors mm -hmm. that can inspire them. So what power does is it uses the bank as the safe environment, kind of the conduit to bring together like-minded women business owners and give them a way to connect. And we combine that with educational resources and a financial product toolkit. So it makes the bank a little bit of a um, smaller environment, if you will. Mm -hmm. So where we see power going is that our power members will get together on a regular basis. They will be able to share what their challenges and concerns are with each other and learn with each other. They will have access to a directory where they can see who else is in the power, who else is a power member. They can offer what we're calling power perks to other members. So say I'm a woman business owner. Um, we have a great one. I'll give her a shout out, Fani Boutique in Lakeview. Mm -hmm. If she wanted to offer, say, a 10% discount mm -hmm. to other power members, she could do that. Um, but more than more than that, it uses the connections. There's closed Facebook groups. So if you're a power member and you're looking for a new sign company, you can put a message out there and immediately get responses. Wow. Um, so the bank is really the conduit that is bringing the business owners together and allowing them to network, not just in a social environment though, but in a real business environment where they can learn to, from each other. Because so many times you do go to networking events where you know, you're know you meeting someone and you, you don't get to the, the meat and potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Right, you, right. You, you, you get to the social, hi, how are you, this is my business, but you don't get to the, that really heavy conversation that maybe the need and the, the reason that you actually went to the event. Yes. Because so, it's not it's not a you don't feel necessarily comfortable throwing it out there, but you're like, no, this is what we're here for. Let's get to it. Right. And there are a number of women business networking um, things that happen in the city, a number of women business networking groups. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's kind of hard to find mm -hmm. and to know what's going on. And that's another benefit that our power members will have is that we will be compiling an event directory mm -hmm. where we will list um, all the different women tailored events that are going on in the city. Mm -hmm. where whether that be a workshop or say you're a power member and you own a marketing company and you're given a workshop on how to better use social media. You know, we would list that in our directory so that other members can really? see what you're doing. And when you know, I sign up, right. All I right. mean, <laughs> Eileen, for you, you know, say you're have a week and you're 
want to focus on a different topic and you're looking for guests, Power would be the perfect place for you to reach out. You know, hey, I want to do a segment on this. Is anybody a local expert? Um, so that's and I really do really, do that. Yeah, <laughs> I really do do that. <laughs> and that's where we see the collaboration is a huge part of this. Um, but it's bringing it together in a smaller environment. You know, one of the things when I was talking to my board of directors about this program is I, I wanted them to understand this isn't us just getting together after work and drinking wine, mm -hmm. you know, which believe me, we will do Possibly, that sometimes yeah, right. too. You know, there will be a number of events where our power members will get together and drink wine, but we see more of what we call in the power join up. Mm -hmm. And those are bringing together smaller groups of segments of say seven to 12 people. Wow. Um, where you get together, if you're familiar with a BNI group, almost like a BNI, but a BNI group, there's um, those are businesses, one from each category, and the the model is to kind of do business with each other. Mm -hmm. We hope that our power members will do business with each other and they'll learn from each other, but that's not a requirement to mm -hmm. be in the group. What what will happen in our power join up? So is everybody will get to share. They'll talk about what their biggest challenges are, um, what they hope to accomplish in the new year or going forward, and it's really just a collaborative space to learn from each other. Gotcha. So, and having businesses of different sizes, you know, we look at power, power really targets um, uh, two different types of segments, three different types of segments. There's our women business owners, gotcha. but then we're also looking at our powerful couples. And our powerful couple couples are say that I like it. <laughs> our husband and wife mm -hmm. that own a business mm -hmm. and they're running it together and the woman in the business is a very active part of that. Mm -hmm. So powerful couples are a big part of this. And then we're also looking for those. So we don't exclude the guys. No, we're not excluding the guys. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking for really those power women, you know, um, lawyers, judges, Indian chiefs, executives, mm -hmm. because we can all learn from, from women that have broken through the glass ceiling. Yes. You know, and there's still a lot to be accomplished there. You know, if you look at the S&P 500, really only 5% of women on the Fortune 500 are CEOs. Um, so while mm -hmm. progress is being made, there's still a lot of progress to go. So that's right. that's kind of the three segments we see power, um, is that woman business owner, the powerful couple, and the female executives that we have in the city, and we have a number of them. Well, you have reeled me in. I am thoroughly interested. How do I get in? How do I sign up? Where do, sign me up. So we launched this um, National Business Women's Week, which happened last week. Mm -hmm. uh, the third week of October is always dedicated to celebrating um, women in business. Um, right now, you can go to our website, Bank with Fidelity slash power. We are developing a microsite that will be a website that I talked about earlier that will have all these different components to it. But if you wanted to, if you're a woman in business or a powerful couple or a female executive, you can just shoot an email to power at bankwithfidelity.com and we'll be sure to get you some more information. There you go. And I'm also looking here that uh, there is a, a, a banking, um, a business checking that is power based as well. Yes. So power has a small business checking component with it. Um, it allows 350 transactions at no charge and we, and we waive the annual service fee. So one of the best things that our power members love though, and I would not have thought that this would be such a big thing, <laughs> but it is a custom purple debit card. Our, our power I color is purple. Because and I see you in your purple today. Yes, I'm wearing my purple today. Because purple, you know, represents royalty. It was a symbol of power. Um, kings and queens wore the color purple because yeah. the dye was very, very expensive mm. to get that color. So only kings and queens could wear it. Mm. So purple, and we, we kind of know that from Mardi Gras already, right. but purple is the, is the color of power. So what we have with power is we have a custom debit card. And it's a purple debit card. I want one. And our power <laughs> members really like showing their purple debit card um, so that that's a big portion of well, that, power. Look, that's how you got me I was like I want a purple yeah. card too. We also you know as a full-service financial institution we have 18 branches but we also operate a very large mortgage company 
called NOLA Lending. Um, and we are offering uh, a power perk for our power members with our NOLA Lending Company that they, if they refinance or new purchase, they can save $500 on their next mortgage. Um, we also operate a title company called Homestead Title. So we really take care of all those different needs from your business, your personal mortgage, Everything. title services, online banking. So we've been around since 1908 and our mission is here for good. And we really just see our power program as just another way of delivering that message and being here for good. Y'all are power packed. I don't even know uh, where to go with this. Y'all are literally power packed. Uh, you have the partnerships, you have the membership directory, the networking events, the business uh, 350 checking, y'all, 350 transactions for free. I don't know where you're going to get that. Uh, the power mortgage services, the power loans. It is a power packed program and it is uh based for women but it is for the power couples Correct. where if you have a business with your husband so it's not just that we don't kick the guys out we do you know they're still involved um in that as well so we want our women in business our power couples and our our women executives to be a part of the power program and you can go on bankwithfidelity.com backslash Power, uh, bankwithfidelity.com backslash power for all the information. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm actually going to put it up under um, our social media throughout the day. So that is at TGL Radio Show, at TGL Radio Show. I've already posted them, but I want to make sure I will put a link to their um, specific services there. So. And Power TV. features all of our clients. So what you're looking at on that webpage right now, mm -hmm. that's Teresa. She runs a great um, business, Treme Market Branch. And you know so, her name. Y'all can play around if you want to. Yeah. She knows her name. Okay. So we really try to um, support our Power members. Um, we'll be having a Power Social at Saffron Nola, which is another one of our Power members. Um, so... Showing, up, showing these beautiful women in our advertising, supporting them, that's something that we believe is showing how Fidelity Bank lives our mission of being here for good. Well, I love this, and um, you may see me come scoot in there soon. We would very love soon. to have you. So I'm excited. I just want to have my picture on your website. <laughs> and we'll I'm make you look beautiful, <laughs> even more beautiful than you already are. Oh, thank you so much. We had the honor and the pleasure of Tammy O'Shea with Fidelity Bank in the studio with us today. Make sure you go to bankwithfidelity.com, bankwithfidelity.com, and that is backslash power to um, really get in, involved in it. And as power stands for potential of women entrepreneurs realized. And so that's exactly what the good life is all about. So open your mind to living differently in the world. We are here on Motivation Monday. I want to thank our guest today, Bishop Henry Bolden. I want to thank Lori Jackson of Edward Jones and Tammy O'Shea of Fidelity Bank. We have had a power packed show and uh, we are believing and we are going to create and manifest our futures together with the good life. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go to tglradioshow.com and I'm out. dancing. Y'all should see him dancing. I never catch him dancing. I wish we... I don't want to really make it a big deal so he can see. Oh, y'all can't see. Because <laughs> if, I, if I picked the phone up and he knew that I was showing him dancing, he'd stop. But thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every... Oh, y'all can't hear me because I still have the commercial on. Uh, good morning. Thank you, uh, each and every one of you, for tuning in. It's been a power pack show. Uh, we talk about... Uh, uh, generational wealth and so I want to make sure that we really gave you some tools and some uh, businesses who are helping partner with us to help us grow so please uh, uh, stay tuned because uh, after the show give me about half an hour I'm gonna have all the information on all of our social media websites uh, that'll be for Fidelity Bank and Edward Jones so thanks so much for tuning in I appreciate y'all I'm out gotta say bye to Instagram first because I